It's time that we make some money by taking BYU to cover against BYE and taking Utah to somehow lose. This is Locked On Big 12. You are Locked On Big 12, your daily podcast on the Big 12 Conference. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Happy Thursday, everybody. Welcome to Locked On Big 12. I'm Drake Toll from America's number one Big 12 podcast, Locked On Big 12. Thank you for making this show your first lesson every single day. It's time to beat the books. Today's show is brought to you by FamDuel.com, America's number one sports book. I'm going to take you through the five best bets in the Big 12 this week. If you hit subscribe, I get to keep my job. I know BYU's on a bye week. Utah's on a bye week. They can't win or lose, but maybe last week, somehow Iowa State lost their bye week. BYU inevitably, because they're off, is going to drop five spots in the AP poll because that's how little AP poll voters know. As for the real game, sorry, those two schools are on my mind as my Expedia ticket is pulled up for my flight to Salt Lake next weekend. Holy war. First best bet. Give me UCF minus six and a half against Arizona. Drake, Drake, you're insane. You're a madman. Yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm picking UCF to win a football game this week and to win a football game by a touchdown. Now, Arizona is how you say in our industry, not very good at football. And this line continues to move. The money is on UCF and they have a 66% chance to win. According to college football insiders.com, by the way, 13 and two, my last 15 picks in big 12 play using college football insiders, 13 and two, give me UCF the cover this week. The official final score, according to the website, as they predict it, would be 32 to 26, which is not a cover, but I'm going to err on the side of UCF, considering that Arizona on defense, 95th in the country on third and fourth down success. And there's one thing the analytics aren't picking up on this week, and it's the fact that UCF is likely, hopefully, please, dear goodness, going to roll out a quasi new quarterback, Dylan Risk, played a little bit last week, and I thought was really good. Had a lot of moxie against BYU late in that game. If he does play, I'm going to go with UCF this week as my first best bet. Give me that minus six and a half. Second best bet, kind of boring. Kansas State, Arizona. <clears throat> Arizona has nothing to do with Kansas State. I don't even what? Kansas State at Houston. That's the actual game that's going to take place this week. Give me the over at 45. Another game where I'm playing the metrics I like. Both teams, um, mm, I like both teams defensively. So it's odd that I would give you an over, right? What a weird explanation. But again, if we go with what the metrics tell us to do, we have a little bit of leeway on this one. Kansas State and Houston have a projected total of 50.1 points. So 50 points, basically. And that's well over where they currently sit at FanDuel. We can win some money on this one. Kansas State offensively. Eighth, running the football. 16th, throwing the football via EPA. Houston offensively, 107th rushing and 98th passing. Not very good, but they've they've been improved at times. Utah's offense is putrid. Kansas State's is electric. Kansas State should put up 31 points in this game against a very good Houston defense, and all I need Houston to do at that point is put up 17. 31-17, 31-17, and we cover. And that's kind of where the metrics want this game-ish. They projected to be 32-18 to 18 in favor of Kansas State. So our leeway is the reason I'm doing it. Give me the over at 45. Iowa State hosts Texas Tech. This is a huge spread. And while I typically would not go after a big spread in Big 12 play, a, la a couple of weeks ago, I was all over. I mean, all over. Houston plus eight against Kansas. They got blown out. I think there will be a blowout in Ames this week. Texas Tech is reeling right now. They have a 15% chance to win this game. Projected final score, 37 to 23. That is 14 points, just one point of leeway there. You can buy the hook. It's 13 and a half right now at FanDuel. I'm going to buy the hook. Iowa State, I've told you this, 20th in the nation in rushing, 4th in passing, def- that is defensively, 11th running the football offensively, 23rd throwing the football offensively. Those are all really good. The metrics are there. Iowa State's at home. I love the crowd in Ames. They have a brewing station facility thing on campus on an afternoon, a chilly afternoon in Ames, Iowa. I'm going to go with the Cyclones to win this game by 14, 17, 18 points, a blowout. 
for the Cyclones. Baylor minus three against TCU. Yeah, they're my alma mater, no doubt. But I've rooted for TCU, it feels like, just as much as the Bears. I've rooted for BYU just as much as the Bears or Texas Tech or anybody in the Big 12 because I'm an objective guy who covers every school in this conference. And this week, objectively, Baylor's going to win, and they will win this game by about a touchdown. Projected score, 35-30, to according to College Football Insiders. Why? Because Baylor's rush defense has gotten really good. While the pass defense doesn't grade out that well, the rush defense does. And offensively, Baylor's throwing the football well. 47th in the country in EPA drop back. Sawyer Robertson all of a sudden is one of the best quarterbacks in the country. From like a QBR standpoint, one of the best quarterbacks in America, which is wild. They're paying the Daquan Finn kid they got from Toledo a billion dollars to play football there. And all he's doing is sitting on the bench. Baylor beats TCU this week as TCU's rush defense. Um, oh man, TCU's rush defense and pass defense, both in, in the bottom of college football. They're 76 and 78, respectively, ranked in the nation. And then uh, offensively, TCU is, is good at throwing. We know Josh Hoover can throw, but they can't establish the run because of that. Baylor hones in on the pass. It's a high-scoring game. They go back and forth. Bears win 38-31. Baylor covers against TCU. I'll be in attendance of that game as well, watching during Baylor's blackout. Arizona State at Oklahoma State. I'm going to go Arizona State minus three. I'm going to go Arizona State. This is a wild thing in my brain preseason. Arizona State on the road beating Oklahoma State. I have no confidence in Mike Gundy. I have no confidence in Oklahoma State this week. They are tanking to take the first overall draft pick. The computer says 59% chance of victory for Arizona State at a final score of 31 to 28. I don't know how Oklahoma State's going to score 28 points in this game. Arizona State scoring 31 behind Cam Scadaboo is certainly possible. They're 23rd EPA rush in America, 43 EPA drop back. Defensively, they're 27th against the rush, 40th against the pass. Those are both good. One team's got a ton of momentum. The other team is the worst school in the Big 12 from a record standpoint in conference play. Arizona State takes care of business. My best bets this week, that's UCF, minus six and a half against Arizona. Kansas State goes to Houston, and they put up enough points in that game alongside the Cougars. Take the over at 45. Iowa State hosting Texas Tech, minus 13. Baylor, minus three against TCU. Arizona State, minus three at Oklahoma State. Tonight is the squad show. We all dressed up for Halloween. I know you love the squad show. I love the squad show. Get ready. Buckle up. This is one of the weirder ones. We don't talk about sports a ton, but we entertain always. That's our goal. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, today's show is brought to you by FanDuel. FanDuel's the reason I get to be here today. Thank you, FanDuel, for right now allowing anyone who places a $5 bet and hits it to get $150 in bonus bets. That's right. FanDuel, America's number one sports book, who is an official partner of the NFL gives you $150 in bonus bets when you win your first $5 bet. Visit FanDuel.com to join today. That's FanDuel.com. And you get a hunch in the middle of a game, you can live bet it too. Oh, no. The Baylor Bears are down by 14 against TCU. You can bet on them live. And I might just do that as I'm in attendance this Saturday. FanDuel.com. It's America's number one sportsbook and a proud official partner of the NFL. All right. That's it. Those are the bets this week. Five games. So I just had to kind of pick something out of those five. I don't even, you know, like Fridays, you kind of gave away Fridays. Pick them. You know who I'm going to pick, didn't I? Ooh. Come back tonight. Squad show. Squad show. Remember that? Uh, Will Farrell and Molly Shannon. Squad show. SNL. This has been and always will be locked on. Thanks for making it your first listen every single day. Dose Grande.